Angelo Vallada here with icebreaker number 12, Richie Pinkowski, who has a two-point game. And first of all, Richie, how good does it feel to have come back to the icebreakers to finish this season strong? Unreal. It's unexplainable, the feeling. Coming out, getting back in, just working hard, earning your time out there. Working with the boys is nothing better. It's an unreal feeling. It's unexplainable. Only thing I could say is come out and try it for yourself. Well, Richie, you were with the team in the beginning as well. How much growth have you seen both from yourself and the whole team since back in October? It's, it's unreal how much we've developed over the season, season from coach, helping us on the ice, off the ice. We've grown so much and come so tight as a team. We're out there in our positions, working the puck. Just teams can't, teams can't play with us. Next year when we come back, that's the thing. It's like, we're going to come back strong and we're going to have a solid team and these teams better fear that because we're going to come fast and strong every game. And lastly, I know you have great support, your mom and other family coming to the game. How much does that mean to you and then just all of the fanatic support? The fans here are unreal. I honestly can't explain the, the feeling it is to have such amazing fans. This city is amazing. My family is amazing. The support's unreal. Got to love it all. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for the support. Appreciate all you guys. Thanks for the love. Well, congratulations, Richie. Great game tonight. Thank you, man. And now we're with the Diesel. We were with him last night when he picked up his first point in 20-plus years, the assist. But tonight is even sweeter. Not only is it the final game of the FHL season, but you score a goal tonight, Diesel. I did. I did. The guys were so happy for me. Everyone on the team, I guess, this year had scored a goal, so they didn't want anyone on the team to have a goose egg. So um, I was just happy to do that. Uh, it's been the culmination of, uh, of a year of work, and I was really excited to get the win tonight. You made me almost uh, lose my voice on, on the call. We were so excited for you. Uh -huh. But uh, the Fanatics just, just loved it. And how much more was it to end the season with all of this excitement? I mean, it was a great win against Elmira tonight. Tonight was a great feeling because we, we finished in fifth place. And I know we missed the playoffs. But for an inauguration season, and the team only had a few months to put a team together, they've done an exceptional job. I mean, all the guys on the team, this is their first year in professional hockey. So I'm really proud of them. I'm proud to be part of this moment of getting fifth place. You know, baby steps, right? So, you know, next next year we'll aim to uh, make the playoffs. Now, with all of your veteran experience playing for the Toledo Storm, what would be your, your best advice for a lot of these? I mean, these young guys are 20, 21, 22 years old. <laughs> work out like animals in the off season. Uh, watch your nutrition, work out, read, study, do it, everything you have to do to get uh, an advantage over the next guy. That's what I would say. Well, the Diesel gets the goal tonight. Congratulations on a great effort. All right. And now we're joined by Stephen Fowler, and for the second time, and you've only been here since January, Stephen, a hat trick. How did that feel? Oh, it felt really good. It was, it was really cool. Before the game, we really wanted to win, so it just felt really good to go out and, and win and help out the team. You know, I don't know if you, you probably didn't think of it while you were on the ice, but you scored the 200th goal in icebreaker history on your first one. Then you got 201 and 202. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, it was pretty cool. Uh, I wasn't really expecting it. I was just trying to play. and and go out there. We had a goal before the game to win and move into fifth place and, and to be a part of be a part of a team that can battle and come back like this is super special. It's it's really cool. Now I know you've only been here since the beginning of January, but how much in that time have you seen the growth of this team as as, as a whole entity? Um, it's it's been it's been really awesome. Through at the beginning of this when I got here, um, everyone I kinda heard that there was kind of a tough start here and to come here and see in January how we started building, coming together as a team, putting some wins together, it was really special and something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. So it's it's been a great experience and, and everyone here is, is like a part of my family now and it's it's just been fantastic. Now I got my most serious question, this is the last question of all the interviews. What happens to all those hats that go on the ice? <laughs> Um, after after the goal, I saw him going to the bench, but I, I don't know what happened to him after. So hopefully everyone got their hat back. <laughs> I always wondered yeah. that. What happens to all the hats? I'm, I'm not sure. I think they go into like a box, and on your way out, you can pick it up. So, yeah. Well, congratulations. Stephen Fowler, hey, he ends the year with a hat trick, picks up some history-making goals. Congratulations. Thank you.